Before we keep going with authentication and make it possible to log in, let's try out our first piece of authorization and start denying access. Head back to security.yaml. The easiest way to deny access is via the access control section. Let's use its regular expression coolness to protect any URLs that start with slash new or slash create. Roles are given to a user when they log in, and if you're not logged in, you don't have any. Here, we're saying that you at least need role user to access these URLs. Try it out. When we try to add an event, we're redirected to slash my dash login dash URL. Hey, I know that URL. That's what we put for the login path config key. So here's the magic that just happened behind the scenes. One, we tried to go to slash new. Since our anonymous user doesn't have any roles, the access controls kicked us out. And two, the firewall saves the day. Instead of giving us an access denied screen, it decides to give us a chance to log in. The form login key tells the firewall that we want to use a good old fashioned login form and that the login form should live at slash my dash login dash URL. It's our job to actually create the login page. And since we haven't yet, we see the big ugly 404 error. The access control has a few more tricks to it. Head over to the security chapter of the book and find the section on access control. I want you to read this, but the most important thing to know is that only one access control entry is matched on a request. Symphony goes down the list, finds the first match, and uses only it to check authorization. I'll show you an example during the last chapter. There's also other goodies, like different access controls based on the user's IP address or depending on which hostname is being accessed. You can even make it so that a user is redirected to HTTPS.